Hi there and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to talk about Python unit testing. So let's get started. So it's very important whenever you write any Python code, testing is the most important part. Not much people know testing or to write test scripts, how to test Python functions. So in this video, I'll be talking you, uh, talking you how to do that. And uh, so without wasting much of time, let's get started. So right now I'm going to create uh, two files right now. So I can just say Python file. And I'm going to call this file known as calc, C-A-L-C. All right, hit enter. Now inside this, I'm just going to write a simple function, which is going to add, subtract, divide. And later on in the next video, I'll be writing more complicated test bench. So let me do that. So here I have pasted a code. So in order to save time uh, to make the video short and sweet. So here you can see I have a function known as mEd, which will basically add two numbers. I have m multiply which basically multiplies two numbers similarly subtract and divide here you can see it's a simple function in the calc right now if if you are working as a test bench how do you test this code are you gonna run this code again and again no right we need to write a test bench for that so how do we do that so let, uh, i'm gonna show you that so just give me one sec all right so in order to write any test bench the the Python file has to begin with test. So it, the, the name of the Python file has to begin with test underscore. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So my name of the file was calc, right? So my Python file has to start with test. And then I can say underscore and the name of the file that it was. So calc was my name, C-A-L-C, here you can see. So just going to press OK, which is... Uh, so now we need to write the test function, right? So in Python, there is a built-in module known as unit test. So let us try to import that. So I'm going to say import, uh, try to make a little bit big so that uh, the font size is visible to you. So uh, pretty easy, just going to say import unit test, right? So I'm going to import unit, unit test. Now I need to import that module, right? What was the name of the module? Calc, remember. So I'm going to say import calc, right? And uh, essentially, if you're writing a code, it's better to write a try block. So you know that these modules uh, were uh, loaded successfully. This is how I do it. This is my convention. Remember, we want to write beautiful codes, not ugly codes. So we want to make it organized. So we can say all loaded uh, if any of the modules were missing. So we're going to say accept some modules. modules are missing all right so that's that's the first step that is we define the module now if i run this real quickly so just to show you all modules are loaded so that's good we can uh, go ahead now we need to define a class for the test so the class name has to begin with test and i can say calc that's how i write it now this is going to inherit from a function known as unit test dot test case right now we need to write the test bench right so uh, again this since it's a test code it has to start with the test underscore um, so let us write the first code so i have a function here known as add m add which is basically adding two numbers and returning that so the way i am going to write this define test underscore right so uh, you can see self now what i need to do is basically i need to check if uh, the two numbers that i add so self dot assert now see uh, when i say ass automatically my intellij is giving me the suggestions so assert equal now what i want to do is basically i want to call that module so calc dot m add because the name of the function is m add so i want to check if 10 comma 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12 right so there is two positive number so i can say here I can say test case for add function. Beautiful. So uh, we essentially tested two positive numbers. Now let us check different cases. Self dot assert equal right. Calc dot m add. Now let us say zero plus zero has to be zero right. So I want to make sure that zero plus zero is zero. I can say self dot now I can, I'm going to try negative numbers so calc dot add now minus one comma minus one now minus one minus one is uh, minus two of course 
you want to make sure even that is fine and now one negative one positive so i'm going to say self dot assert equal calc oops calc dot i'm add so i'm going to say minus one comma one and the result i'm expecting it to be zero that's it now in order to run this file uh the here is what you have to do so so what i can do is if underscore underscore name and i can say underscore underscore main uh now in order to run you can say unit test dot main unit test dot main Just try to give a little space here because we are trying to follow pep8 uh style of coding right so beautiful uh now if i run this the test calc function let's see what do we get beautiful so here we get one dot that indicates that our test was successful and we get an okay response which means our test was cool now let us try to do for the uh now let us try to uh, write a test function for exception handling so what i'm trying to, what, what i'm trying to say is okay i have a function known as divide right if b is equal to equal to zero raise value error so if it is zero you cannot divide right else now how do i uh, write a test function for exception handling so let me try to do do that for you it's easy easy so again just for your revision uh, i'm writing this function once again so that we can revise so what is sh what should be the name of the function test underscore divide right and um, what i can say self oops just for uh, the revision purpose i'm writing it again so assert equal to so it's calc dot the name of the function that is divide now i'm expecting 5 divided by 2 i'm expecting the result to be 2.5 right so that is what i'm expecting then i say self dot assert equal then i can say calc dot divide right uh, now let's try a different case minus one comma one so if i divide minus one by minus one i should get minus one of course right the oh, sorry one right uh, now one more case self dot assert equal calc dot divide and if i divide five by two which we already did right so let's say oh yeah that's fine so uh, i'm gonna let me just run this and i'm gonna show you the exception handling uh test function now so if i run this again let's see let's see what happened now here we get um, fail test divide underscore underscore main test calc now why it failed let's see so it says assertion error calc divide minus one and one so here you see we have an exception right so this cannot be divided so let us see why what happened what went wrong um so basically if i just try to remove this and try to run it should get two dots right there all right so we have two dots that means for we have two functions and it tested two function correctly now in order to uh, catch this exception exception that i just showed you so if we divide by zero or any negative number it should be an um, exception so how do i test that so it's pretty easy um we will use a statement known as with so i'm gonna say with self self dot assert equal or we can say assert raise because we want to test uh, a phrase and we want to raise value error right because when we divide by zero it should test that so i'm going to say calc dot divide so if i say 10 divided by zero um of course it has to give me a value value error right so i want to check for 10 divided by zero and i want to check if it raises the value error this is how you text, test uh, exception handling. So if I run this, let's see what happened. So here you see we get two dots again. That means you were successful. But now if I say 10 by one, of course it's not it's not gonna raise a value error, right? So the test is gonna fail at that point. So if I run this again, here you see assertion error value not raised. So here you can see 10 divided by one assertion error the value was not raised. So here we get a beautiful message. You can also try calc dot if you expect um, 10 divided by negative 1 let's see if this test passed or not so here you see 10 divided by negative 1 it did not raise a value error so that is what it's giving so this is how this is how you write uh what did i do wrong oh sorry yeah zero sorry for that
So if I run it again, we get two dots, two tests successful. So I conclude the video right here. This is a part one. And in the part two, we would be testing, uh, writing a test function for more complicated functions and classes. So hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you learned something new. This is unit testing in Python used for writing test codes, test and test benches for your functions and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I have so to give a like. Uh, you can also uh, help me by subscribing to my channel if you have not done so and give a like and also share this video uh, with the people whom you think it would be valuable for them to learn something new so that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you guys in the next part